Chloe, you can't keep blaming me and everybody for everything wrong in your life. It's so not fair. I gotta blame somebody, otherwise it's all my fault. Fuck that. Lord have mercy, you need to go to therapy, Chloe, like seriously. So now it's Rachel's fault too? Jesus, she was banging that pig, Frank! Bitch lied to my face, Max! I can't trust anybody again. Everybody pretends to care until they don't. Even you. Stop Chloe it, Price. Chloe. You better take that back. Right now. Okay. Fine. But you just don't understand. It's like I'm being punished by the universe. So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? You blame William? Really? Yes, I do. Damn right. He chose to go out that door and leave me forever. Stop Chloe. it. It's not his fault. Your dad didn't choose to leave you. I know that, Max. My mom actually blames herself. Just because she wanted a ride home from work. Sometimes, even I blame her. No, you don't. Yes, Max, I do. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? And he never does? No, of course not. But I was with you that day. It was just a terrible accident. I wish that made me feel better. But ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. You don't want to hear this, but you're still here. Alive. With me. And that is no accident. You're right. I don't want to hear this. Damn it, Chloe. Chloe. I can't do this out on my own. I need you with me. And Rachel needs you. Yo, she is... She is pissed. And I understand you're angry, Chloe, but come on, bro. Chloe. You know what, Max? Just give Chloe some space, okay? Give Chloe some space. She's just extremely angry, and her anger is not letting her think. I wouldn't know because my work wife tends to be like that sometimes. So best give her space, let her breathe, and then talk to her again, all right? Because in all, in all reality, yes, Chloe shouldn't be blaming everyone for some of her mistakes. But at the same time, she shouldn't be... Oh my what god. What the hell? What is happening now? Whoa, what's that? The picture moved. Did you develop some weird... Superpower? Or... Are you able to rewind time through pictures now? Yo, this is trippy if you are if you're actually able to do it. I think you do. I'm not sure. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah? Wow. If I'm able to do this. Oh my god, I did Someday it. I went back in time. Computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. Max, tell him. Whoa, hey. You look totally pale. Are you okay? Yeah. I just... Uh... Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, Chloe. Give me the thumbs up or thumbs down. Well... I might just allow this one into the family album. You're the boss. What is this? But not the cook. William is here. Yes, and we can't Chloe is just a kid. And serve us slackers. Am I that we far back in time? You mean pancakes? In France, they call them crickets. I'm 18 years I'm old inside my 13-year-old self. If you want to eat How? We. I volunteer to break the eggs. Yo, this is so trippy. Eggs. Mom's now I get to take a picture. Strike a pose. Make me a star. Just make me look young. But it depends. That's true. 
So, how many eggs? Don't you dare. You can see the bond between Chloe and her father. And the love. Now, this is a photo. Chloe is just so damn happy and carefree. And this is the last time, unless I change it. Wait a minute, change what? Are you... What are you trying to do? Because the thing is... Sometimes you can't really... You know, change things in the past if it's meant to happen, you know what I mean? Hello? Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the Two Whales. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. I have to stop William from taking his car today. Ladies, I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast upon. You are upon. ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund. What a mess we made. I remember those cool drawings I did with Chloe. Chloe was so into manga. Nice hair. Maybe this is where she got her inspiration from to dye her hair. Aha! You can't. Okay, so if Max wants to stop him from going outside, then. Okay, I guess. Actually, that's yeah. true. So, how many eggs? Don't you dare question the chef. Right, like you're the real score. Uh, All right, I got the keys. I'll let her know that. Ha! That's cool. Oh yeah, I, I hid the keys in the chocolate, here. cookies and popcorn. Oh, the thing is, if I stop him from going out, my family never took fun, goofy photos like this. How would that affect the future? I forgot about this. Back to the lighthouse. Dad, thanks for the day trip to the lighthouse. This sketch is for you to always remember. Love, Chloe. Hello. Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're that's a cool snow doe. Wait a minute, that's the deer. What? That's the same deer I've been seeing throughout the whole game. Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Oh, graffiti. Excuse me, ladies, I have to go rescue Obvious, but it will have to do. Many bags of delicious grub for us to feast you are upon. Ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. I know they never took that big vacation. Damn. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Man, I remember Chloe reading this. But not after today. Yeah, because the death of her father changed her completely. I know I've seen those pictures before. Yeah, wasn't it in Chloe's room or something? Shit, where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar! Joyce loves William so much. Good luck, hubby. We're so proud of your promotion. You get a week of two whales waffles in your own house. Your loving wifey. Huh. You're bankrupting me. Wow, I... It's all blo... I knew this thing would come in handy. How the hell did my keys end up here? Shit, he found it. I gotta find another and no hiding Chloe spot. Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad. Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world-famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's yeah. never leaving me. That makes all of us. Damn. All right, so he found the keys in the chocolate. That's okay, I, I have the keys. So Don't you dare question the chef. 
Right, like you're the real cook here? Right here? I am, when your mom is away. Alright, let me see if that would help. I'll let her know that. Oh, if I unplug the phone, William can't take any calls. So let's unplug the phone. Boom. Disconnected. Yes, here's the two whales number. Now I can warn Joyce. Well, it's... Shit. Hey, honey. I, I have no idea why the home phone didn't ring just now. I'm just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two whales. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Wow, Excuse so me, it's like every little change I'm trying to do, for some reason, he's like destined to just <laughs> having to take the call, no matter what. He'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar know. for the swear jar! You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Can I just talk to him and distract him, or...? Shit, where are those keys? I don't know. Another dollar for the swear jar! You're bankrupting me! Oh, he has the thing that tracks it. I knew this thing would come in handy. Shit! How did my keys get in here? And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad. Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world-famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. Okay, so I don't know what to do at this point. This is gonna be hard. Okay, wow. first of all, I need to hide the keys where William won't hear his dumb. Call beeper. diner. Call diner. If you like Joyce, don't call him. Uh, hello. Hi. Could I please talk to Joyce Price? Oh, she left. Damn. Uh, are you sure? Okay. Sorry. Thanks. Damn, I tried calling and That's I don't true. know what to do. So, how many eggs? Don't you dare question the chef. Right, like you're the real cook here? Catch all. High keys. When your mom is away. I'll let her know that. The thing is, I don't know. Hold on. I don't know what to do. It's like I don't have any other. Answer. Sorry, wrong number. Max, come on, you know better than that. Hello? Shit. Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two whales. What? Wait, what if I... Let me see, let me see. I'm gonna do it again, but this time I'm gonna make sure he doesn't... I'm gonna see him by the phone. Come on. Thank you. Sorry, wrong number. No, he would still go to the- Max, come on, you Damn. know Damn. Okay, fine, Hello? whatever. Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two whales. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. Excuse me, ladies. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to... You know what? I, I have another plan. What? I have another plan. 
All right, so, so don't you I got the keys. Question the chef. Right. Maybe I can throw like it here. The real cook here. I am. There you go. Nice. And oh, then I'm gonna take a nice picture. Oh. It worked. I know I had those keys right here. I know it. Forgot all about you, little buddy. Release the keys. Of course. Last time I ordered from Spy Guy Electronics. You can take the bus, right? The stop is right down the street. This I can do. Good call, Max. Oh, yeah, the bus is great. It comes every 15 minutes, and there'll be plenty of room for you and, and Joyce and groceries, and, and it'll save the environment. You sold me already. I'm off to yonder bus stop. Uh, Joyce will love this. Max, you are being so fucking strange. You feel okay? Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. Whoa, what's this? Okay, so it's redoing the funeral. They get to go on a trip. Hiking, Chloe. Chloe and dad together. She never got to marry him. They're together forever. No more of David. Chloe got her keys to the car. Whoa, okay, so I'm back here. That's Nate Prescott. Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? Ew, am I friends with you, bro? Max. Get the fuck out of here. But Never, like Maxine. So that's why she was laughing so hard. I know, sorry, Mad Max. <laughs> You're not pissed at me, right? Why am I friends right? with you, Victoria? Do you want to go hit the girl's potty and smoke a peace pipe? I think Max is high. She's acting like so weird. You cool, Max? Why am I friends Nobody with you guys? when I said we shouldn't let her in the vortex. Courtney, you don't want anybody in the club. Like, whatever, bitch. Bitch? Really? Warren. He hooked up with Stella? Good for you, Warren. I oh, mean, are we no. even friends? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Chloe. David's a school bus driver? Yo! Oh my god. The thing is, with the butterfly effect, I remember watching the movie, that specific movie with Ashton Kircher, and he tried to change the past so many times, but it seems like every time he would do something differently or prevent something, it either got worse for him in the future or it got worse for the people that he tried to help. So, yeah, I could see why Max would want to help prevent William's death, but what would be the cost of doing so? And you've noticed how every time I try to hide the keys, he was destined to find them. So I'm over here thinking maybe it was destined for William to die in the first place. Destined for Chloe to go through her changes. Destined for possibly even David being with Joyce in the first place. Oh shit, the whale. Two whales? The hell? We got two whales washed up on the shore. Three whales. Oh, shit. That's insane. Okay, so... Where am I going exactly? Oh, Chloe's house. Okay. Oh, I'm so nervous. I really... Lord, have mercy. Okay. Let's go in. Assess the situation to see how much of a change we've done. And depending on said change, 
we might need to undo it. But for now, I definitely do like the concept of exploring the what ifs. Specifically, what if William did not die? Moment of truth, Max. Moment of truth. Max Caulfield. Taking well. a break after taking Seattle by storm, huh? Hmm. We thought we'd never see you again after you left for the big city. No. I'd never do that to Chloe. Speaking of, I know she's been dying to see you. Hold on. Okay. Chloe! You have a visitor! Max, what's wrong? <gasps> no! 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 This is worse than I thought! Oh my god. Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Don't ever touch me again, freak! That's right, kick him in the, in the nuts. And then me just watching the whole city, hanging out with Chloe. Let's talk about your superpower. Saving what Kate. What are you doing here, Max? That Stop. was an intense episode. Don't come near me. Not now. It won't work. I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Fuck Ms. all Coffee, you guys. Y'all ain't shit. Tell us you everything. ain't shit. Jefferson ain't shit. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's and this guy. Bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. I'm starting Let's to think that Rachel is dead at this point. Rachel and Frank being more than friends. I can't believe she was banging Frank. I'm sorry. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who I do you most know. want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> I don't really feel awesome Hello? anymore. Are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. This whole situation is so fucked up. Like, if William dies, Chloe becomes a jaded, troubled, rebellious kid. But if William's alive, Chloe becomes disabled. What kind of a would you rather scenario is that? That's just so fucked up. Like, dead ass. I just. Clearly, I would rather have William dead just so Chloe is able to walk again. Like, shit, man. This is why you cannot change the past, even if you had the chance, quote unquote, chance to do so. I just believe sometimes certain events are just destined to happen. Because if you try to alter them, then who knows if there's a possible worse scenario that ends up happening. And I just love how Life is Strange actually does explore that concept of what will happen if you change the past. I just feel so bad for Chloe. I really do. Like, look at this. This is... Oh my god. I don't know. I, I'm just speechless at the moment. I feel so bad. I, I mean, imagine how Max is feeling it's right now. weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. 
It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. That's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a, in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Okay. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? No. <laughs> There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... Ugh, God. And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. Oh my God. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Can I rewind Jesus. now? I can't. I can't watch Chloe I, I, like I this. I can't. Say. I can't don't deal say with anything. this. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just oh. read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. You did? Wow, this, this is, is so weird. Such a different world than when she we doesn't were even kids, know isn't it? Rachel After Amber. After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. Don't say that. I'm not trying to bum you out. It just seems like Arcadia Bay is having a meltdown. I know things seem out of control, but as long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe, I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. None taken. She is such a different Chloe. She's a lot more calmer, humbler. But I don't know. I don't want to see her like this. I want to change immediately. This is a different Pandora box that I'm not expecting to go through nor open up. This sucks. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.